well good afternoon everybody this is Steve welcome back to the little little wood shop well today we had a quick uh, quick little tip and trick for you uh, in a previous video we showed you how to take a JPEG raster image convert it into a vector image and how to do that for free uh, with, a, with an open source piece of software called Inkscape uh, which is similar to Coral Draw or Adobe Illustrator with the exception that it's free now we're going to show you today how to also do something quite similar inside your vCarve Pro software itself. Uh, now I will gladly drag in a new image. And what we see before us is we see a, we see a quaint little bullwinkle the moose and he's, he's having a Sunday out in his, his canoe and he's doing a little fishing. Well, in your, your VCarve Pro software, underneath your Create Vectors, you have something down here called Trace Bitmap. It looks like a small pigeon or something, okay? Now, click on whatever your image is, color or black and white. You can adjust your threshold bar up or down. Lower you go. Least amount of... Uh, Pixelation is going to show through. The higher you go, you're, you're going to you're going to flood your screen with with too much, uh, and it's really not even going to be visible. I'll start it out at 50 percent, thereabouts. Okay, and I'll look at my preview image. Now I'm looking at my preview image, and I'm going, oh my goodness, this is really not what I want. Okay, Mr. Moose does not look so great. Well. Let's readjust our threshold a little higher, say from 50 to 58. Let's re-preview him. Ah, he cleaned up a little bit. All right, well, we're going to bring him up to, say, 62. We'll preview him again. Well, if we crank him up all the way, and this is for demonstration only, if we crank him up all the way, hit preview, there's just too much, too much clutter, too much information. Okay, we back him all the way off, and we preview him. We barely have any information at all. Well, I'm going to bring him back up to about 62, I think, is where we had it. We're going to preview him. Okay. We're going to apply, and we're going to close him. Now, we've got our moose. Let's just move him out of the way. Now, if we look at him, we can see that he's got he's still got some grayscale left in him. Click on anything that isn't a vector inside the body. You highlight the box. We want to get rid of the grayscale. Hit your delete button. Okay, now what you have are just your vector lines. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also bring this image up on Inkscape. In our video we showed you how to do this in Inkscape, so I'm not gonna run you through that again. What I am going to do is I'm going to pull the image in and I'm going to show you what we started with for our moose here in Inkscape. I'm going to show you what he looks like after he's been scanned and then we'll pull him in. Now, here is our moose in Inkscape. As we can see, if I bring him up, we can see our pixels really start to get ugly. We just, it's just too much clutter, okay? Too much scatter everywhere. Well, if I take him and I run him through, what I end up doing, and, and we've run him, like I said, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make you go through this lesson again. We pull him up, we look, here's our clean lines, nice clean radiuses, there's no clutter, there's no scatter. So what we would do is we would delete our old raster image we would save Mr. Fish and Happy Moose here. We're going to save him as an encapsulated postscript. Uh, and for this, yeah, we can just save him as a drawing. Uh, and I need to save him in the correct directory, though. Uh, and we'll need to put him in desk documents, okay? Encapsulated postscript and a drawing. Okay, there we go. Now, We'll get him out of here. Now to show you the difference between what it is to render a JPEG 
in the physical VCARV software itself and to an import an EPS file that you just converted in Inkscape, well that's what we're going to show you right now, okay? Let me go and let me get that EPS file. Here's Mr. Moose that we had. All right. We're going to pull him up here. Okay, now we're going to take a peek at our moose. See if I can't get him just about the same size for you guys. Pretty close. All righty. Now here we go. And let me take and blow him right up. Now, we're looking at kind of the same thing. I personally think that Inkscape did a little bit better job cleaning this moose up, okay? Then what had happened here inside of the VCarve Pro software itself. Uh, I do you a video for Adobe Illustrator, however I, I, I don't own Adobe Illustrator, so that will be another video somewhere by somebody else I'm afraid, but I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email and uh, I'll get back to you as promptly as I can, but this is, this is another way of taking a raster image, which was this image right here, and converting him into a vectorized image inside VCarve Pro itself. However, I like what Inkscape uh, happens to pull off a little better, but that's my own personal choice. Uh, I hope this helped. Everybody take care, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Take care now. Bye-bye.